fact. An antisocial is someone who doesn't care and violates others, while an asocial is someone who doesn't like to socialize. I am guilty of making this mistake and confusing the two terms too before. I used to think that an antisocial refers to someone who doesn't like to socialize, but it turns out that in the field of psychology, the proper term for someone who doesn't like to talk is called an asocial. Antisocial behavior, or antisocial personality disorder, ASPD, is diagnosed as a personality disorder in which the person exhibits a lack of conscience for wrongdoings. An individual's personality becomes overwhelmed by an abnormal mentality that causes negative patterns of behavior. ASPD typically manifests during late childhood to early adolescence and continues into adulthood. According to the National Institute of Health, NIH, people who are diagnosed with antisocial behavior often display patterns of not only resistance to authority, but also frequent manipulation, exploitation, and violation of rights of others. The exact cause of ASPD is unknown because there are many genetic and environmental factors that affect the development of this disorder a person is at greater risk of developing antisocial personality if they are male, was abused as a child, have parents who also have ASPD, or grew up with alcoholic adult figures. Children with ASPD tend to display cruelty towards animals, as well as have a high tendency to enjoy setting illegal fires. Symptoms that manifest in adults include frequent bursts of anger, arrogance, manipulation with remorse, aggressive behavior and violent tendencies, no regard to personal safety or the safety of others, and lack of guilt or regret of any wrongdoings. Some examples of antisocial behavior include, but are not limited to, harassing, conning, lying, bullying, etc. others. Here's a list. However, in my own non-professional opinion, someone who is antisocial carries similar characteristics as psychopaths, namely, someone who hurts others without any clear or logical motives. On the other hand, asocial is a term to describe a person's behavior that is characterized by the deliberate avoidance of social interaction. People who are diagnosed as asocial tend to be inconsiderate or quite hostile towards others. Asocial behavior is frequently observed in people who suffer from personality, autism spectrum, or mood disorders. Some include schizophrenia, depression, autism, Asperger syndrome, and social anxiety disorder. Here are some questions to ponder about. How does antisocial behavior link to psychopathy? What is the line between someone who is just displaying antisocial behaviors because they are still young or having personal problems versus someone with early signs of psychopathy?